So what is up? It's Fire Life, and today uh, I'm bringing an introduction video, really, to Tynoid. Really, wow, I'm saying really a lot of ready. Wow. Anyway, I am the owner of Tynoid. I've already got a video out, but that wasn't an introduction to myself. So yeah, let's introduce myself. I'm a 14-year-old gamer who currently lives in United Kingdom, England. Really, don't have any plans of moving. So that was just a bit of pointless information really, but yeah, on my channel I mainly do FIFA, in fact I only do FIFA at the moment. Do plan to do some Dead Space and some Crisis 3 when they come out, but for the time being it's FIFA only bros. And yes, as I said I am the owner of Tynoid, so I do hope to be bringing... Um, this um, series here, which is going to be a career mode with Aston Villa, um, planning to bring this uh, twice a week. So possibly today is Saturday, so we'll try and make it every Saturday and every Tuesday. Or no, we'll make it Thursday. Every Thursday, so Saturday and Thursday. Bang, no questions asked. Done, sorted, completion. Okay, so. First of all, Fire Life. Why have you picked Aston Villa? Right. Aston Villa, great side on FIFA, in my opinion. They've got great players. Like Bon Lahore, Benteke, Gardner, um, Delph, Banan, Neymar. They are so good on FIFA. But in real life, mm, kind of a different story. They're struggling. Second to bottom. I believe. So, for right, yeah. Well, we will um, try and save them. The three and a half star team. So, and my aim was to avoid relegation. But they gave me some money, so we're going to head into the transfer market, and I'm basically going to do exactly what Paul Lambert did, and he's going to go for the young stars. Um, I think we're going to go. We're going to go for that Kurt Zuma. I think his name is. We're also going to go for Raheem Sterling and we'll be going for that Ibrahim May May Mbaye. So we're just gonna test the waters kind of see how much the club wants for them. Um try and get a big deal or cheapest deal because we've only got we've only got eight million. Uh, we didn't start with nine and a half but Rages not we didn't actually really need the Rages but you always think if you want to buy some big stars, which I haven't really, um, you might need a bit of rage. But because they're young, they're only wanting about. Well, we'll let you see how much they want. But yeah, we have sent sent all three offers for those players, and yeah, we're just gonna have to see what really comes back because. We did go for their predicted value and obviously clubs. It's 17. Let's just explain this. 17. They've got a whole career ahead of them. But don't want to be selling a very hot future prospect for 2 million if we think in about 3 years it could be worth 15 million. So we probably and um, we probably not get all of our uh, we not get all of our bids accepted and yes. Um Saint Etienne don't want that deal, but you know what? We'll give you someone in return. We will give you. Um, I'm not sure who we actually gave them. Yeah, no, I don't. I can remember now. We'll give you. Um, we'll give you. Uh, yeah. I can't remember now. I thought I'd remember, but I didn't. So we'll have to just wait. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go to first to go home. Um, we'll give them. Um, Sylvian Petrov, that's the person. Thank God I didn't say who I thought it was because it wasn't him. But <laughs> yeah, um, Liverpool just want a couple. I think it was like two hundred thousand more. So we'll just we'll just give it them. But going back to my channel, uh, gonna advertise my channel a bit in this brief moment. So while nothing's really happened, I've kind of explained a tiny bit into the future. Um, go over to my channel if you like FIFA videos. You'll like my channel. Um, I do a wide variety. I do plan to do some 
player careers, maybe. Uh, well, there's a career mode here, so subscribe to Tynoid. Bang! Yes, so subscribe to Tynoid for this. But also head over to my channel. Uh, I'm doing a 100 and out series for Fabrizio Mickley. Wow, stutter. <laughs> yeah, Fabrizio Mickley. We are also doing our weekly uh, Team of the Week predictions. Pretty good at them, so. If you want to know a day before roughly who you, who I think is going to be in the team week, I get about ten a week correct. So yeah, um, head over to my channel. They're they're a big success. Where get quite a lot of views, and I also do a play review. And for anyone that's a bit stingy on Ultimate Team, like, comment, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for those. You could be in the chance of winning that player uh, at the end of the week. So that's just a little hint up. Hint up, go over to my channel, there's lots of stuff there, sure you'll like it. But, yeah. Um, we're getting, going into the contract side of the negotiations really at the moment. And, yeah. Raheem Sterling um, has accepted. I also think that Zuma has accepted. But Mbaye has been a bit, um, a bit money greedy, being... Quite stingy, being a Robin Van Percy at the moment. So we're gonna have to um, knock his rages up a bit just to ties him in. He don't want to leave into Milan. He wants to save her in Italy. But like all football players, put a little bit of extra cash in their back pocket. Ooh, they'll play for you. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm sorry this episode is gonna be a bit slow. But as always, in every single career mode, you do have to improve the side as soon as you get in. Uh, I haven't really been improving the side, but give it two seasons, and it is me playing. I am only playing on professional, so it not be too hard. Um, we we will see the changes in these players. These players will be 80 pluses after a few years. I can almost guarantee it. Um, but this is a shocker. AS Roma, £13 million bid, Darren Bend. Best player in the whole team. What do I do? I sell him. Like, what What have you done? But just think, 13 million. That's more than what I was given. So, And if you look at the strikers we already have, we have Agbon Lahore, we have Ben Teke. Those two will probably get paid, played more than Ben. But this guy, if we could get him, wow. Wellington. On Ultimate Team, unstoppable. A beast. Never played with him on career mode, but hopefully he plays very similar to how he plays on Ultimate Team. But, Spartak Mosca, you're going to drag me out on this, aren't you? 9 million, no, we are not interested. 9 million, and Steven Island, hmm, might be a different story. So, yes, so... He's worth three and a half million, Stephen Island. So we'll submit that deal, and before we can find out what's going to happen with that deal, we're going straight into a match against Paris Saint Germain. Now I know I'm just a slight bit ahead of this commentary now, so I'm just going to wait for it to a bit load up so that I'm not talking way ahead of this commentary really. Because this is the thing with career mode, it can take a bit of time to simulate through those days. But once it's caught up, you'll see what I mean. Um, if you're observant enough, you'll have seen, yep, PSG, here it is. Paris Saint Germain. And if you have a look at this squad, if you just have a look at this squad, you will see. You'll see how great Paris Saint Germain is. Um, most of their players were on the bench that were starting 11 but it was still a very strong team so just getting ready for this match and then it's going to um, come in and show you I'll explain their team very briefly when it pops up so that I can remember it um, I do know they are playing um, Ibrahimovic. Also, main people are Sirigu, they're also playing Gomero, Suzuko, Verratti, Maxwell, but they do have um, Sacco, Lavezzi, and 
that shizzle on the bench if they do go behind. And the thing about PSG, they are such like strong players. Uh, most of my players are quite weak because um, they're quite nimble. That's what Aston Villa are, nimble players. But we give away a penalty in the 12th minute. The Ibrahimovic, the Swedish superstar, steps up. But Shea Given saves it. Ooh, what a great save that was. Um, I had uh, no doubt in my mind which way he was going to go. And then, within um, seven minutes of that, they go and give me a penalty. So, because it's the first match, you need to work out who your penalty taker is actually going to be. You need to work out who the best penalty taker is. And for me, at the moment, it is Gardner. So, we're going to step up and take your penalties. You can't change direction because you know that's going to fail. The keeper saves, saves it the right way, but Gardner is so close to that top post it's going in but at half time 1-0 Aston Villa the underdogs 1-0 ahead even after a penalty scare uh, so it's been very middle park a game I'd say it's been pretty equal we probably do deserve to go in the front but we haven't made any clear cut chances so if they'd have scored that penalty it wouldn't have surprised me if it was one all, but yeah, we're gonna have to um, watch the replays because my editing skills is stupid, and I'm pretty sure I edited this out. So yeah, this is funny just watching the two penalties over and over again. Yay! But yep we do get into into the start of the match pretty sure this isn't a highlight either but it's too late to change this now so I'm gonna have to you can, sorry for this guys you're gonna have to watch this but yeah uh, we're gonna have to talk about the future plans the series wow series with Aston Villa two times a week as well, as I have already announced so Saturday and Thursday I hope that's not too close in between you don't have a five day like deprival is that what it's called where you don't have enough um, I don't know my English isn't too good I'm only 14 I would like to say I've got a high level of English but still if I can't think of words like that wow I need to get my thing sorted. But anyway, the um, next chance comes in the 53rd minute. Gabby Agbonlahor, also known as Gabby Agpace Ahor. Um, wow. Yeah, he's mm, firm over bend. Glad I saw bend. But yeah. Comes to around the 70 odd minute. And as you've got to do in a real foot match, you've got to make substitutions. So we are going to put Holman on for Sterling. We're gonna be El Hamandi on for Gardner. And we're also gonna take Agbon Lahore off and put Christian Benteke on. So yep. Yeah, we're gonna put some substitutes on. But yeah, two times a week. Um hopefully planted about three or four seasons with these. Just a uh, need some guys um, support really likes comments always make me feel happy as I said just go over to check my channel hope you like some of the stuff down there um, Tynoid has got a nice variety of gamers on here I'm just gonna run through with me playing FIFA there's also I Andy P good friend of mine playing FIFA there's Zippy Penster playing computer games and then there is Zaber S playing card but anyway, the gameplay is wrapping up, and good.